Here's how I designed this retraction mechanism from scratch. It all started when this video appeared on my feed. I was instantly inspired to make something as cool as this high-speed transforming CNC machine switch X blade from Monster Hunter. The purpose of this project is to design a transformation mechanism, similar to the one that we saw from the switch X. Now, what they work on in that video was a little bit too complicated for where I'm at now. The most simplified version of the switch X transformation seemed to be the out the front mechanism. Here's an example if you don't know what it is. A design like this still seems cool, but was much more manageable for me to work with. However, there are already plenty of 3D printed out the front knife mechanisms already out there, and creating something that already exists is kind of work. To make things more interesting, we're going to add in some constraints. One, the device has to have some sort of transformation mechanism, like we were talking about. Two, the device has to serve a function that I actually want. And three, the device shouldn't be a hassle to use. For the transformation mechanism, I decided to stick with the OTF knife that we were talking about as it seemed the simplest. Two, it's important that you guys have a little bit of context. My friends are big fans of Pokemon, and one of them, the biggest addict of them all, created a Pokemon server for us to play. He basically created his own Pokemon game, kitted out with all the features from the traditional games. He hosted this through a modded Minecraft server for all of our friends to play, and we all got hooked very quickly. Back to the project, I want this device to somehow add to the player's gameplay experience, maybe some sort of trigger case that shows off all of the Pokemon they had this season, and then a little expendable slot for a trophy coin, granted to only those who were able to get through and beat the game. The lesson straight that the device must not be a hassle to use when I'm designing things for myself. Typically, as long as they work 70% of the time, I consider that a win. But this is something that's going to be used in different environments, by different hands. It can get annoying fast if the device doesn't work as intended all the time. With these constraints in mind, I pulled up some references, booted up SOLIDWORKS, and got to work. Referencing this model from Ultimate, my first wing goal was to understand how retraction mechanisms actually work. Once I did, I could integrate it into any design. The OTF mechanism could be broken down into three meat parts. The casing, the blade, and the spring. Basically, the blade is loaded into the casing, which has these triangular stoppers that act like one-way ramps. The spring is pulled by the slider, which does the tension needed to get the blade over the one-way ramps. Now that you get the gist of the concepts, we can go into why this video took over one for me to make. Almost every toy type I had made and failed to three big problems. Bending and alignment was a huge issue in this project. Whenever I would pull the slider, it would create a moment which would basically cause bending because of where you're applying the force. Um, and this would mess up the launch mechanism because a lot of the force was being lost due to friction of it sliding against the casing. I ended up fixing this was adding these alignment um, brackets kind of thing. Uh, one by the spring stopper and just another few scattered throughout the casing to try to keep it in line, making sure that all the force goes solely in one direction, thus making it stronger. Another big problem I had to deal with was latch geometry of the blade. Basically, sometimes the latch wouldn't catch uh, on the ramp. Um, this was a huge problem. I wasn't sure what exactly was causing it. A few factors were the latch stiffness of how much it would bend, Another factor was how far the latch actually was to the casing. When the latch of the blade is significantly closer to the latch of the ramps, um, you actually get a lot more force created and it catches on much more cleaner. The last of the main three issues was the spring design. And I noticed that one of the spring vents was very, very thin. And when I went to go test it, it broke very easily. Uh, I didn't realize this was happening. And when I took a look at my other prototypes, they were all experiencing the same issue. And then explained why after the first few times of testing my prototypes, we saw a significant decrease in success rate of the latch actually catching. And that was because the spring was basically broken, not creating any tension. But after addressing all these major problems, we were able to create an acceptable first prototype. Now look at that thing go, isn't that just crazy? That thing is smooth, I'm just spamming it. It's beautiful. But as you can see at the end here, um, it actually, it, it locks up there. And so it's not exactly a smooth 100% success rate device yet. Right now, I think that's gonna be the next process of iteration is getting it to work 100%. And you'll also notice that I was just trying to get the retraction mechanism down itself. 
So in the next one, I'm going to focus more on getting the build casing and including the trainer badge that we're talking about for it to actually serve its function. But I believe that the hardest part is over getting the actual retraction mechanism to work and understanding it. I believe I can now apply it to any of my designs. Hopefully in the next one, I'll be able to show you guys this device that lets trainers show off their Pokemon teams and also commemorate their great achievements. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go support Creator XX who inspired and through this video, as well as Ultimate. Uh, links in the description because they I don't know what I would have done <laughs> for this part of the um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you want to see more engineering slash trade of content whatever you want to call this and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one peace